Yes, she is Logan, the girl with the hat, and we are so happy to have her join us once again here on NHL Network. Hi, Logan. Hi. I understand you're coming to us from right outside where the Vegas Golden Knights play at T-Mobile Arena, but maybe you can share with our guests the story behind your nickname, Logan, the girl with the hat, and also when you started loving hockey. Um, I got my nickname, Logan, the girl with the hat, from Flurry at a practice, and yeah. <laughs> he just what? He saw you in, with the hat and said, hey? Well, I've been going there since, like, nobody else was going there. And so <laughs> he, like, he knew me as, like, the hat girl. So that's how you're <laughs> I, I think her hat's pretty cool, too. Isn't it signed by every single player on that team? Yeah, I'm not wearing that hat right now. I'm wearing my All My Empire one, but it's at home. Oh, that's okay. It's a sweet hat. Very well, Logan, yeah. how many different hats do you wear? I wear a lot of different hats. Okay. So I like your style. It's very Thank cool. You. We're showing a picture now of the hat that I think has all the signatures on it. And, of course, you yeah. can go to her Twitter account or Instagram and see it there, too. Uh, I'm curious, Snow Logan, uh, trade deadline in the rearview mirror. Your team got a pretty good player in Mark Stone. How do you like the new guy? Uh, we love Mark Stone. As soon as my dad knew that we got Mark Stone, he went to the armory and got a Mark Stone jersey. <laughs> that sounds like a good He's a pretty good bet. player. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and he'll be around for a long time now, too. Who is your favorite player on the Golden Knights? I like Riley Smith. Why? Because he's just been my favorite. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, Logan, have you ever considered playing hockey? Um, I go ice skating all the time, but I don't think I'm going to play hockey. I'd rather be like one of you guys than play hockey. Oh, that's oh. so cool. If you, like, when you're older one day, I mean, you already have a YouTube channel, so you're well on your way, but what would you want to do? Would you want to be in a studio? Would you want to be at the rink doing, like, the rinkside reporting? Like, what would you want to do if you could pick anything? I would either want to report for all the teams or just, like, be like Allie in rinkside reporter. Okay, Ali Lozoff. Yeah. Have you? I assume you've met her. Yeah, she's the best person in the world. <laughs> Aww, that's great. She's also a really talented reporter. But we can start. I was just gonna ask if if Ali's given you any advice. Yeah, all the games she comes over and she talks to me and she's like, "How's it going?" Who, who, who should I interview today? What should I say? Oh, she's got you thinking about the post game early. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. So obviously you have a little bit of training right now in your future role as a reporter. Do you have any questions for either Jackie or me or Kendall? Um, when did you decide to become a um, hockey player and when did you decide to be an announcer? So when, did, when I decided to be a hockey player, I was really young. I started skating when I was three years old because I wanted to be like my older brother. And I've still, I still continue to play today. I started doing broadcasting when I was in college at Northeastern University. I did a little sideline reporting there for the men's team when I wasn't playing myself. So those are when it that's when it started for me. And it's amazing how young it's starting for you. That's awesome. You're, oh, are you asking an announcer too? too. Okay, I didn't said know. announcer too, yeah. Uh, I knew I wanted to be an announcer when I was probably around your age, Logan, maybe a little bit older. I started watching football, and I remember seeing Michelle Tafoya doing Monday Night Football at the time, and I thought she was so cool, how much she knew about the game and how uh, smart she sounded talking football just like all the men out there. So that's where I started thinking about doing it. And for me, Logan, I think I relate to you on the level of my love for hockey started because of my relationship and friendship with my dad uh, we would watch the games together and then listen to the uh, post game on the radio I don't know if you listen to the radio but when I was a kid we would listen to the radio and fans would call in and ask questions and then me and my dad would talk about those questions and and come up with our own answers so I kind of um, fell in love with hockey playing but also hanging out with my dad just like you Great stuff, Logan. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, it looks like another beautiful day in sunny Las Vegas, and I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.